M-O-A-Go-Go. Hey kid, what's up? Do you hate having to eat those healthy vegetables? Is nutrition getting you down? Well, cheer up! Help's on the way. Say hello to GMO, genetically modified organisms. You can eat them all day. Not only will mealtimes be extra delicious, they'll also contain oodles and oodles of insect genes and fish genes. Just think of all that extra yummy goodness. But that's not all. We're irradiating everything you eat, so you'll never have to absorb a single nasty nutrient ever again. And don't forget about pesticides, plenty of those. Yes, sir. Mm -mm. Like to know more? Well, let's take a look. Corn is a staple food used in many, many ways throughout the food industry. Growing it takes time, money, and lots of pesticides to protect the crops from bugs, vermin, and fungus. Now, some people think that pesticides made by big biotechs are harmful for humans, animals, and the environment, but that's okay. We've solved that problem. Our GM scientists are putting the pesticide right inside the crops. That's right. Isn't that amazing? The food itself will kill those pesky critters stone cold dead. <laughs> Now, some people are worried about the bees dying off. Busy bees pollinate billions of dollars worth of crops, vegetables, fruit, flowers, you name it. But some insects are just plain greedy. They'll eat everything in sight if you don't watch out. GMO to the rescue! Thanks to genetic engineering, the plant produces a toxin from the newly inserted bacterium gene. The toxin kills insects, but not humans. The Bacillus thuringiensis toxin destroys the insect's stomachs. Ouch. We have absolutely no testing results to prove that these are safe, but they are. Trust us. We care. And because the pesticides are already growing right inside the crop, GM plants can withstand more weed killer than the old-fashioned organic crops. No weeds, no bugs. More food, more profit. What's not to like? But that GMO goodness isn't just about corn. There's rice, soybeans, cotton, alfalfa, soybeans, papaya, soybeans, oilseed rape. Is that all? Not on your life. GM is the gift that keeps on giving. The possibilities are endless. Just imagine you're a limey Brit trying to grow strawberries in the frozen wastes of Scotland land. Well, in the future, why not insert a gene from a codfish who's built to thrive in the icy North Atlantic? Result, frost-resistant strawberries. Wow, I want it now. The effects of GMO food on humans aren't as tried and tested as we'd like, but there are much more important things that need our attention right away. The population is exploding. How will we feed everyone? We need food security, and we need it now. But just because tests on rats eating genetically modified potatoes showed them growing slower after two or three generations and developing fertility problems, oh, and some organ development issues, some goody two-shoes scientists and whiny campaigners worry that that might happen to humans too. Well, let's wait and see. In the meantime, the biotech companies can rake in the profits that will fund more exciting GMO experiments. We love of farms. We love them so much, we want them all. We want to persuade every potential partner farmer to forget all about that silly organic farming and get with us on the GMO bandwagon. Whenever we change the natural gene sequence of any plant, we get a patent, ASAP. It's our invention after all. Hey, the new GMO plants are our intellectual property. We aim to achieve total control of the seed. Got an organic farm nearby? Great! Soon everything you grow will be enhanced by the altered genes from our GM crops. Isn't nature wonderful? And what better way to spread the GMO goodness around than the wind? Accidental cross-pollination isn't our problem, and it's no excuse for profit loss. 
And once our genes get into your crops, your crops belong to us. Yep. Well, it's our technology. If you're going to use it, you've got to pay. We don't care how it got there. When we own the food, we will own life. So those naughty farmers better not save their seeds for next year's crop. If they do, we'll know. We'll tie up farmers for years in the courts. Farmers will just have to buy more seeds next year and more pesticides too. It's win-win all around. If you want to fight us, we might just take your farm as a settlement. But we're human, just Thanks, Mother Nature, but we'll take it from here. But we're doing all this for you, Johnny. Don't forget that. And if it's all too much for you to take in, don't worry. We've got it all figured out. By the time you're a teenager, it'll be GMO a go-go. We just need to make sure that our army of lobbyists keep GMO labeling off any products. Why spoil consumers with unnecessary choices after all? And if old Farmer Joe decides to fight us, we have a ready-made network waiting to take care of him. Can you say revolving door? Yep. Some judges used to be lawyers who worked for us, and we make sure that they take care of business. And legislation, no problem either. Former GM industry lawyers also work for the food regulation bodies. And we have enough cash in our pockets to lobby any issues all the way to Saturn and back. Some people still think government food regulatory bodies are serving their needs. Hilarious. We are making a killing in India, literally. Hundreds of thousands of farmers have been organically recycled to dodge debts that they owe us. BT cotton doesn't always give strong yields, and bullworm, cotton's main pest, seems to be gaining resistance to our transgenic BT cotton. This can mean bad crops and no revenue for some. We say, once you're in, you're in. However, under Indian law, any debts die with the farmers, so farmer suicides stop debts being passed on to any remaining family. But I'm confident that we can lobby that issue too. When we own all of the cotton varieties, and we will, suicides will be of little concern, because we'll be the only cotton seed suppliers. Duh! Concerns have been raised in Europe over problems with GMO pig feed causing sterilization and growth problems, but we have years of marketing left before that's proved, and we'll find a way to work with the Danish pig farmers banging that drum. So eat up your veggies, Johnny. There's going to be plenty for everyone for the right price.